I love you, Sam. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. <gasps> it's almost time to go, Sam. Here. It's a dream catcher. Wear it when you sleep, and I'll keep the nightmares away. I'll always be with you. This is the face of our new hope. Our new America. My mother may be gone, but I'm here. And you, Sam, you're here too. Been 10 years since you saw each other, right? And in all that time, she hasn't aged a day. He knows why. My body's still on the beach. I don't get to grow older. You do, Sam. You look good. So you're serious then about reconnecting everyone and everything? Someone has to succeed Bridget, Sam. More importantly, someone has to carry on her legacy and see our country rebuilt. Samantha America Strand, our new president. A new beginning for our people, for our nation. Under Emily's leadership, we'll re-establish the UCA, the United Cities of America. This is how we'll rebuild our country. But we'll need your help to do it, Sam. No, I'm through with this. I said my goodbyes to all of you when I said them to Bridget. We never forgot about you, Sam. You ran away. You cut us off. Emily put together an expedition. The best of bridges won and went west. I led them past craters in BT territory. I kept them safe while they searched for survivors. Never once missed a BT. Saw him coming a mile away. We convinced community after community to join the UCA. And we left behind our own people to help them. It took us three years, but we managed to make it all the way to Edgenault City. All the way to the Pacific. Jesus. Yeah, but then everything went to hell. The team was wiped out, and Emily was taken. Taken? I'm not being kept in a cell or anything like that. I'm allowed to use their facilities and to speak with you whenever I want. I just can't leave the city. It's all to safeguard the continued independence of Edgenot City. Well, that's what her keepers are saying, at least. They want the UCA to leave them be. Emily's their insurance policy in case we don't. Who are these assholes again? Homo Demons. Militant separatist group. They run Edgenot City. I've heard of them. Bunch of terrorists who go around towns killing people and leaving craters. Right. Nothing's off limits for them. Not even engineering void outs. You think the suicide that took out Central Knot was one of theirs? Could be. They're extremists like the demons everywhere, plotting in the shadows. 
They're decentralized by nature. No one organization to rule them all. Just a common ideology. I know not everyone shares our vision for the future. If we Americans don't come together again, humanity won't survive. I carried my mother's message to people all across the country. But not everyone was willing to accept it. More than a few would rather stay isolated. Keep to themselves. Go it alone. Like you, Sam. They think that America can only be rebuilt by force. By men who tell them what to do. Who take away their freedom and put them in shackles. What'd you put on me, huh? You know better than the demons. Just another kind of cult. They're not shackles, Sam. They're a symbol of our bonds. That's what we need right now. Not to stand apart, but to come together. To form chiral knots and reconnect. Sam, we want you to go west and finish what Emily started. The people she left behind have been hard at work, setting up chiral network terminals. But these terminals are still isolated. We need you to bring them online. And for that, you'll need a Cupid. This contains all the necessary security and operations protocols to integrate a terminal into the chiral web. Take the Cupid West, Sam and reconnect the people of our great nation. And when you get to Edgenot City, find Emily and bring her home. After that, I'll take over the presidency and carry on Mother's work to save the country. This was Bridget's dying wish. This is how we'll move forward. Please, Sam, we need you. I'm Sam Porter Bridges now. I'm not a strand. Hell, I'm not even part of this outfit. You all saw to that. I'm not getting involved with you or anyone else ever again. Wait! See? It's like I'm not even here. Same as it ever was. Sam! Sam! <laughs> Sam. Listen, you are Sam Strand. No, not, not anymore. My name is Sam Porter Bridges. It's a funny word, strand. A strand is part of rope or bond. While stranding means being washed up on the shore. And being stranded is when you can't go home. I'm stranded now, Sam. Here on the shore of the Pacific. Thousands of miles away, but our bond still holds. You're free, but we're still connected. Don't tell me we're not.
falling down London Bridge is falling down My fair lady Sam? Can you see me? How are things over there? Still not under guard. Still not chained up. Still can't leave. But if you can keep making connections, if you can get to me, we can go back east. Back home. Thank you. I mean that. It's bad. There are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together, to help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, then, well, it's like Bridget said, extinction. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't going to get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. I'll be waiting, Sam. Waiting for you. Come and find me. Sam. 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 Do you remember? It's almost time to go, Sam. I had no idea until you told me. No idea that I was alive. Living is no different from being dead if you're all alone. I don't want to go home. Here, it's a dream catcher. Wear it when you sleep, and I'll keep the nightmares away. I'll always be with you. Did you forget how to go home? Come on. I'll take you halfway. And then you can do the rest by yourself. Better now? I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Come and find me. We used to play together a lot in this place. You brought me here. I couldn't make the trip on my own. So long as you have a body to return to, you can't come and go as you please. 
So you can't just come back east through here. Not until you make us whole again, Sam. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Come and find me. For me? It's called a keep room. It means not in old words. You can also use it to count stuff. I had a knot when I make a friend. Okay. Then how about I add another knot every time I see you? This must be very important to you if you were able to bring it here. Very special. It is special. I made it for you. I'll treasure it, Sam. and his people came. They finally reached Echinoth City. There's no escape for me now. Everyone's dead, the city's destroyed, and what's left is crawling with BTs. They're everywhere. Where's your Kipu? But I was able to sneak away and reach out to you. This might be our last chance to talk like this. I just wanted you to know that I'm safe. For now. Promise me you'll keep building the Chiral Network. It's our only hope for the future. It's my only hope for freedom. And when you've finished, we can go back east together. Amelie, your keeper, where is it? Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach.
Sam? Are you there? Amelie. Can you hear me? Sam. Over here, Amelie. The network's nearly complete. Just one more knot to go. And then America will be whole again. Did I ever tell you my real name? I wanted to. It's Amerigo. After Amerigo Vespucci, the man who discovered the continent. I thought it was Columbus. Except Amerigo was full of it. He lied. America is a lie. I'm, I'm on the beach, Sam. Our beach. The one where I was born. Higgs will never find me here. He can't. So don't worry. Get the last Cupid to Edgenoth City and finish what we started. I'll meet you in your room at the Distro Center when it's all over. There's something you need to know, Sam. I've kept things from you. Worn a mask for the longest time. Everything Higgs said about me is true. I could end it all. Us. Mankind. Extinction. That's what I am. How does that even mean? But it's not what I want to be. All I want is for you and me and everyone in this world to be whole. <gasps> Sam. You'll stop me. Don't let me end it all. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Amelie? Amelie? Time to meet your ender. Amelie? into a single shore. And then... will come an extinction like no other. More massive than any before it. The last. This is my purpose. What the hell they do to you? Nothing more than a prelude. Surely you figured it out. Do people like us? She's the source of it all. The nightmares that haunt us, the visions of an inescapable future. Sound familiar? Fucking doomsday, Sam! Fuck you! Sam. Don't you get it? You can speed this up or slow it down, but you cannot stop what we've started. If you beat me, you can't save her. Amelie! Amelie! She's fine. 
Extinction's on hold for now. Let her go! All that for a repatriate. What a waste. Well, we'll pick this up when you're done dying. Heads! I'll see you on the beach for the grand finale. Amelie? Sam? What are you doing here? You ready to end this? Before the end of everything? I brought you a metaphor. Take it with you. Tell the lie first with Porter Syndrome what happens when you hide behind the mask. No. You keep it. It's better they hear it from the woman herself. One more thing. Your little one managed to bring it here by picturing it as equipment. You mind? Babysitting sucks. So where should I send you? Back east? He doesn't need your help. He's got the Carl network. And he's got me. We can jump east together. Lucky him. We appreciate everything you've done for us. We really do. But we're good for now. Besides, I'm sure they need you back at Fragile Express. Yeah. We better to scoop up all the pieces and put them back together. Wouldn't want to settle for anything less than perfection. Fragile. We're square. Nothing owed. Nothing left to say. So long, Sam. Come on. Let's go. We still have work to do. Do you still believe in me? Even without Higgs, I am a walking time bomb. I can end it all just like that. But what I want... 
What I have always wanted was to be a part of it. For us all to be one. What? Tell me the truth. Was this all for you or all for Bridget? This is for our country. For our future, that is the truth. There's something that you need to know, Sam. When you were back east, I slipped out of here and I went to visit you. What? Did you lie? Fuck me. You have any idea what it took for me to get here? You wouldn't have come if I hadn't. You didn't care about America or bridges. But we did know one thing you did care about. Something you were willing to cross a continent for. A reason to build the UCA. It was Die Hard Man's idea. Great. So I'm Mario and you're Princess Peach. Are <laughs> you right? I never gave a shit about this country. I have no ties to anything or anyone but you. I'm so sorry, Sam. But it all worked out in the end. Well, I guess that's taken care of. I know you have questions, but can you save them for after? Sure. Let's go home. How do we do it? Do we jump like fragile? No. The beach goes the whole way. We run together. Run? Yeah. Like Mario and Princess Beach. Wait here, okay? Mm -hmm.
And bridges falling down, falling down, falling down, and in bridges falling down by fair lady. The last stranding has already begun. Amelie? You're too late. What took you so long? Your voice. You still don't know who I am, do you? Who are you? for you on the beach. I've been waiting for you, right here ever since. You were supposed to stop me, stop all of this. Bridget? Yes, it's me, Sam. Where's Amelie? Where she's always been? Nowhere. My daughter, Samantha America Strand, doesn't exist. Amelie doesn't exist? Not in your world. I'm sorry, Sam. I've had to wear a mask for so long. Amelie and Bridget are both a part of me. What's this supposed to mean? Quiet, and I'll tell you. There is no time for questions. Listen. Just listen. Do you understand, Sam? Amelie and Bridget, those are just names. What I am is an extinction entity. So, knowing what you know now, you have two choices. Huh? 
was getting shot one of them. You wouldn't come back if it happened here, you know. You'd be straight on to the afterlife. But no. It's not one of them. Killing you would be a terrible mistake. I know that better than anyone. The last stranding has already begun. A seam has formed from my beach and the beaches of every soul in America. And soon it will be inundated by a vast surge of antimatter starting here. In a flash, this world will be no more. Consumed by an explosion. A big bang. So, that brings us to your first choice. Do nothing. Stay here with me and bear witness to the very end. Just watch it burn. Together with me until the last flame wings out. Sounds so bad, does it? It's not like the world has long left anyway. Then there's the second choice. In expanding the network, you brought people and their beaches together, integrating them into a greater whole. Like this kibu. But in doing so, you also bound them to my beach. The very beach where I opened the gates to the other side. You can't stop what's coming. But if you cut me and my beach loose, perhaps you can stop it from spreading. You might just prevent the last stranding. And mankind will live to die another day. And it doesn't have to end here. But it does. The beach is doomed no matter what. One look ought to tell you that. <sighs> Which is why we must sever our connection. That'll be it. The end of the Death Stranding. You can't stop the inevitable. The sixth extinction will happen either today or tomorrow. You can either end it with dignity, quick, clean, and in a flash, or you can struggle in vain, knowing full well what's waiting come the finish. Those are your choices. It all this time. Perhaps you still have a chance to stop this nightmare. You brought the world together. You have the right to decide. Pull the rope or cut the noose. But whatever you do, don't hesitate. I'm ready, Sam Strand. Make your choice. Wait. I don't know what to do. Sure you do. After everything, how could you not?
like you were for me. whole again and when the time comes you'll have to stop me you are the only one who can promise you'll remember Sam I'll be waiting for you on the beach I remember you knew you always knew I did and I didn't I had so many dreams of the future I didn't know which ones to trust. Which is why I decided to share them with you and the others. But to connect the dots, to make sense of everything, you need perspective. You need time. Time has no meaning to me. I am not aligned. I am a single point, which is why all I could do was just show you the choices and let you decide. Our nightmares are your dreams. You found the common thread, the strand that links them together. And you did that the only way possible live life one day at a time. Thank you, Sam. A gun won't help you here. But it still has a role to play. It was the bonds between people that brought the world together. And if that is what matters most to you, then I will stay here on this beach. And I will shut myself in and the rest of you out. Shut yourself in, come on. Once the last stranding starts, it can't be stopped. I can't go with you. All I can do is try to spare you the worst. Why do you have to stay on the beach? Sam, I am the beach. And I must stay here and ensure that the extinction happens. Even if it takes tens or hundreds of thousands of years. Alone? That's what an EE does. On my job, none of this would have happened. But I, I couldn't take it anymore. I got so tired of waiting, and I figured that no one would blame me if I just got it all over with. So, that's what I did. Sounds like hell. You and the others came together, connected, and you may be living on borrowed time, but you still have hope. Before each of the big five, life rebelled. They fought back, evolved in order to survive. And if I have to pay the price for that, to be the sacrifice, then so be it.
Even if we aren't together, we will always be connected. Goodbye, Sam. A gun won't help you here, but it still has a role to play. no time for questions. When you were young, you used to have bad dreams. You cried about them all the time. The truth is, those weren't your dreams. They were mine. For as long as I can remember, I've dreamt of the beach. Not just while sleeping, in my waking hours, too. In my dreams, I watched the world end so many times. Countless past extinctions that decimated life on this planet. Again and again and again. At first, I didn't understand what I was seeing or why. And that wasn't the worst of it. There were other, more terrible dreams. Dreams of death and destruction. Of a massive extinction to come. And I would always be the one to end it all. 
to bring about the last stranding, as I have today. First operation. I was only twenty. I opened my eyes and found myself on the beach. But the moment I came round, I was back in the hospital bed. I was split across two worlds. Bridget. My ha in that one. Amelie, my ka in this. Somehow, the two of us managed to coexist. Soon, our ages began to diverge. Amelie Bridget's body got older, while the beach kept Amelie's the same. So I came up with a story. I told people that Amelie was my daughter. A daughter with a debilitating condition and an absent father. Look. Amelie. Am is French for soul. A soul that's alive. There was no Amelie. Only me and the beach. I thought it was a curse in the beginning. But later, I started thinking. Maybe I can use this. I tried to find out more about the beach. Because understanding the beach had to be the key to interpreting my visions of the future. <laughs>
realized the beach was connected to the world of the dead, which meant that somewhere out beyond it were the memories of time itself, including those of every organism that had ever lived. 4.6 billion years of biological history, a history that might even stretch back to the creation of the universe. The chiral network and everything that followed was born from my pursuit of that knowledge. By passing data through the beach, we were unbound by the restrictions of time. Simulations that would have taken years or more were simple and effortless. Everything that the Earth had lost and forgotten could be reconstructed and reclaimed. But shortly after we began our research, America saw its first void out. I thought I was running out of time, that my nightmares were becoming a reality. So I raced to complete the chiral network as quickly as possible. The past held all the answers. If only I could find a way to piece them together. A network that bridged our world and the beach. That might do it, I believed. So. I started researching bridge babies, children bound to the world of the dead. What causes an extinction entity to come into being? What was the reason for the previous five mass extinctions? The answers to those questions would tell me how to stop the sixth. I founded bridges, more determined than ever to build a chiral network that would cover all of America. The longer I fought my war against the inevitable, the weaker I became. My ha uh, had cancer. The beach's punishment, maybe, for not playing along like a good little EE. -E. And then, just like that, my ha uh, was gone. I couldn't finish what I'd started. So, I asked you to do it for me. And you did. You helped us complete the network. Helped us to reclaim everything the universe experienced from its inception to this moment. Every mystery was ours to solve. Like this one. Once, there was an explosion. A big bang that gave birth to time and space. Thing is, it was more like a big fluke. All that matter and antimatter should have cancelled itself out, leaving nothing. But somehow, somehow a tiny speck of matter survived. Just enough. Enough to make this world and everything in it. A world that shouldn't be, a world out of balance. Order inevitably gives way to chaos. Everything that lives must inevitably die. It's like the universe is trying to return us to the nothing we came from. Maybe the Big Five were its best attempts to finish us off. But somehow, life always managed to survive just enough. Enough to thumb its nose at the will of the cosmos. You know, I'm starting to think that extinction might be the key to overcoming total annihilation. It forces life to fight to survive to endure, to exist. That's why the Big Five ultimately rekindled life instead of extinguishing it. From the ashes of the dead rise the living. Stronger and wiser. Inheritors of the legacy of existence itself. They defy the universe and refuse to surrender. They say, we're just getting started. Extinction? is an opportunity.
the trigger twice that day. I knew at once I'd made a mistake. I found your beach and looked everywhere for you. Sam. There you are. Free from death once and for all. It's okay. I know the way. But in doing so, I upset the fundamental balance between life and death. I just wanted to save you. entity. It's my fate to lead our species to extinction. But that moment, you became part of that fate. You became a repatriate, and dooms started spreading my nightmares to others throughout the world. It was me that got you and everyone with dooms into this. Not long after, a death stranding occurred. The dead clung to our world, and BTs used my beach to cross over and devour them, triggering more void outs. A catalyst that would set the world on a path to extinction. It was my duty to serve as a sacrifice, to wait and watch it unfold from this beach. That, or hasten the last stranding and end this slow death. Given these, my only options. I chose to end it quickly. But to trigger the last stranding, I needed you, a part of me. Here too. I would be able to witness extinction consummated with you by my side. But now that you're here, there's another choice. You can cut me off. An EE doesn't have that option for itself, but in my nightmares, I saw another future, one that you chose. One where extinction is hope against total annihilation.
A gun won't help you here, but it still has a role to play.
Listen, Sam. I was the one that brought you and Cliff together again. There was something I wanted you to know. You were never abandoned. And you're not alone. Don't you see, Sam? You have to live. You're still connected. <laughs> <laughs> 